There were more than a few inquisitive glances when season ticket holder Andrew Maxfield visited the club's training ground. The lifelong Rovers fan is a man on a mission, or should that be a mower? Along with his daughter, this July he will tackle an extreme challenge. His goal, to be a cut above the rest and in the process, raise funds for charity. Well, we've come down, we're trying to promote uh, a world record we're trying to attempt. That's going to be on the 25th of July. We're attempting to go from uh, John O'Groats to Land's End on a John Deere lawnmower. The world record stands at four days, 23 hours. So obviously we're hoping to, uh, to beat that. It's like a 900 mile journey. The mower goes just short of 10 mile an hour. So it's going to be a continuous journey for both myself and uh, my daughter who's going to be well we're going to be doing it in shifts on 24 hour period from like I said John Grotts Land's End supported by John Deere vehicles as well. Where did that idea come from? Well originally we, we started with organising a charity ball in December and I was looking for auction items. I have a, an interest in uh, lawn mowers. I cut the grass around the village that I live in. I've got eight lawn mowers myself and I thought I'd write to John Deere, ask them if they'd uh, be willing to donate a, a ride on mower for our auction and I offered to ride a mower from John O'Groats Land's End and they took me up on my offer. They were quite excited at the prospect. How on earth are you going to manage that? Because it sounds unbelievably difficult. It, well, it is going to be very difficult but hopefully we can just do it in less than four days so it might not be much of a struggle but it's going to be a case of uh, whilst I'm not driving I'm going to be sleeping and vice versa for my daughter so you know hopefully hopefully the weather will be nice as well we can see you've got the alzheimer society t-shirt on yes. tell us why you're raising money for, for that cause and why it's so special to you right uh, my dad he's uh, 77 years old he's suffered from uh, alzheimer's for the past 12 years uh, beginning of december 2016 he had a fall he's been a physically fit man really strong he had a fall at the beginning of december and he went really frail so we thought it might be his last christmas so 2017 we decided to try and raise as much money as we could for the alzheimer's society to try and find a cure for alzheimer's in the uh, in the future we have a facebook page set up it's uh, forget me not preston uh, they can uh, go on to the page there and uh, find details we have a just giving page as well so the, all the details are on my uh, facebook page uh, we've got a to text code to uh, donate to as well and obviously all the uh, all the links will be onto our Facebook page. Initially I set out to raise a thousand pound that's obviously with my uh, ball that I set up for December that's what I was looking for a thousand pound from the ball but like this has been an extra item so I just don't want to make a profit anything over a thousand pound will be good I'm at 125 so far that's pound not a thousand so yeah, it's anything over a thousand pounds. So you're imagining your foot's to the pedal all the way, basically. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's got cruise control as well. Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> Job sorted. What more do you need, eh? I've been uh, a Blackburn fan since 1974. Uh, watched them, well, basically every home game since 1974. Been to quite a few away games. Season ticket holder in the Blackburn end. So you know, my first choice was to come to, to Blackburn. I've got a quality machine and a quality team as well. The one we're taking is uh, nine and a half mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Enjoy that, yes. pal. The, the team, yeah. they probably think I'm daft. <laughs> I could always cut the pitch, though. That's probably, that's probably quite good. Nice big smiles, everybody.